everybody. This is Delinda, Independent Sensi Director for Delinda and the Sensations. And tonight I am getting ready for a home party. And so I just was thinking of different things and I thought, you know, I just need to make a video and show you all how I'm prepping for my home party. Now I have, I'm going to show you exactly what I take. Um, first of all, Mardi Gras beads. You can get them at the dollar store. I am going to put these around my hostess's neck the minute I walk in. And this is her booking beads. You are putting the pressure now on her. You're going to tell her for each party that you book, you will take your set of beads off and you will put them around the neck of the person that booked the party. And for each strand she gets rid of, she gets a prize in addition to her party at host rewards. Now, these can be up to you what you decide that you want to give her. Um, I may give her um, $20 in free product for every bead that she gets rid of. Now, here's the catch. I would not give her the $20 in free product until her friend's party is held and then you would add $20 worth of free stuff on that party so that you can make sure it's a qualifying party. Otherwise, she could just be going and putting beads on people's necks and, you know, I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if she buys 20, a $20 item, you can use your half-priced um, perpetual reward on that party uh, to get it anyway. So, anyway, um, right here, this puts the pressure on them to go and try to get people to uh, and ask them. And they'll come more likely... Uh, hosting a party for their friend than they will for you. And let people know what these are for around her neck. Okay, and as I'm packing for the party, I'm looking for things that I'm packing, and I just wanted to show you this. Uh, these are, they were, $1 cheap uh, notebooks that I bought. And cut them in half and cut the three ring binder off of it to where now I have something for them to write on, a writing board, and it has a pocket. And I've put my name, my label here, and the join and my label here. Um, but now let's see what we're going to put in this. Normally, I would put the flyer of the month, which I'm out of because we had such a big month last month, so I just copied something off, and it's even in black and white. But just to show you what I would put inside of my lap board. I'm also going to put, which is not in color, a fall and winter like it, love it sheet. Let me show you what this sheet is. It has a list of every single scent that we have in the catalog. So while they're sniffing scents, they can take this sheet and they can mark their favorites, whether they loved it, liked it, or didn't like it at all. They can mark this and take it home with them to know exactly which ones they loved. Because when they're smelling scents, they're going to forget the names. They're not going to remember what they liked. So that's going to go in my lap board. And then I'm going to put, well, th at this time of the year, I'm going to put a harvest brochure. Or maybe it'll be a, a holiday brochure. I also put I Love Referrals postcard that I had made up that tells what I give them if they refer me to a customer that's not at the party. And then I put my postcard that is my Scentsy story. And it's just got my story on the back with a collage of pictures of some of the things that we have done as uh, on our Scentsy journey. Now, then, I will put an order form. Whoops. And, you know, I mark my order forms with highlighter to highlight what I definitely need highlighted. And then I'm going to put a catalog. 
And then I will put also an ink pen in here. And each of my guests, I will have these ready for them. When they walk in, I will hand this to them. Okay, so then I am going to, the next thing I'm going to do at my party is I'm going to introduce myself. And I am only going to take very few products to where I can carry it all in in one bag. Um, I'm going to take my Scentsy Go. I'm going to take a diffuser and one oil. And matter of fact, I am probably going to diffuse oil instead of warming a bar because it's easier cleanup. And it doesn't use one of my uh, show, showcase warmers. Um, I'm going to take one warmer. Uh, a regular warmer. I'm going to take an element warmer and a nightlight. Um, I'm going to take one scent buddy and a bar of the month, scent of the month, and that m can be all. I can take a hand cream from the body line. I may take a soap. Um, I may take my dryer discs. Um, and that's it. I'm not going to take a big production. And you guys, I'm not going to go in carrying a table. I am not going to carry a tablecloth. These items, I want them to be sitting around for people to be able to see and touch and experience them. Whether it's on the floor, on a coffee table, end table, fireplace, hearth, wherever. We're just going to set them up for people to see them. It's not going to be a big fancy production. It could be on a windowsill. Um, but here's the part where it gets fun. I'm going to play a game. And it's usually a catalog game from the current catalog. I have not made it right uh, yet. And it could be as simple as 10 questions. But it's going to be related to the catalog. Like the first person who can find an element warmer in the catalog. And so they're going to find an element warmer. The first person that tells me the name of an element, element warmer, I let them draw a card from my deck of cards. And then I get to explain what an element warmer is. And so I'm basically going to ask questions that kind of cover each of the products that I have and, and talk about it a little bit. So it's not going to be a long game. But before I start the game and explain it to them, I have from the Dollar Tree a cheap little crown and a cheap little scepter. And the first person who hears me say the word Scentsy shouts, has to jump up and shout, I'm a Scentsy Diva. And when they say that, they get the crown and scepter until somebody else hears me say the word Scentsy, jumps up and says, I'm a Scentsy Diva and takes it away. At the end of the game, the one who is wearing the crown and has the scepter, then they actually get the prize. And believe me, this gets people up and into it, and so it's a fun game to pr play. My prizes can be anywhere from old party testers to samples to scent circles to any of the um, you know things. I wouldn't make them really big. Uh, but that is something that I do. Um, then my hostess always gets a hostess gift. And it'll be in a little gift bag. And it'll probably be some party testers. And it'll be a bar of the scent of the month. And um, just little samples, stuff like that. And she's going to get that when I before I start the party too. So that everybody will see, oh, she's getting a gift. And so it'll look like a gift. And, and so that'll get them excited. At the end of the game, we have everybody look at the cards, and we add them up. Uh, their face value, aces are 15, and uh, the jack, king, queen are 10 points, and whoever's got the most points wins the game. And in the middle of this fun, they have actually also learned about the product without me having to do a demonstration, all formal and all that. So I take my deck of cards. Uh, I also, in my bag, I carry ink pen, extra ink pens, and I carry 
Um, let's see what all's in here. A calculator. I carry a drawing slip. If Now, this is good uh, if you want to have a door prize, but I play so many other games that I don't use these much, and the information I need from them is going to be on their order forms. They don't need to fill this out twice for me. Um, I have business cards in here. Um, some scissors, just because I do a lot of events. But I also have these dice. And you wonder what these dice are for. Then, when they're coming to me, to, to uh, when they're doing their order, but we'll get to that in a minute. I'm not going to show you this yet. Okay, the next step that we're going to do, oh, I do show them a car bar too and all that stuff, but, um... I just want to show you, I've got extra ink pens, I just got these little baskets a long time ago for like 90 cents, 99 cents a piece, and I have all my, let me show you, hold on, I have all my party testers in categories, like the classics, new releases, fall and winter, blah, blah, da, darling and dashing, all these are separated into baggies, and I actually have them labeled on the bottom. You can buy labels, or you can just put uh, with a Sharpie something so that at the end of your party, you can go back and sort really quick. And then I, when I'm at the party, I just dump these into a basket, and we've got all these different categories around, and they just pass them. And like I said, that's when they're going to use their Like It, Love It sheets. After we do the catalog game, then we start smelling. And I don't do that first. We smell last. So then, but they're familiar with the catalog. Now they're marking their scents. And then I tell them, when you have what you think you would like to order, fill out the information part only of the order form. Just the top part. And then come to me. I will fill out this part. And the reason I want to fill it out is because I want some time to interact with them. But I also want them to know um, that they, they may use codes. They, you may not be able to read their writing. You want to verbally visit with them and try to upsell. And, you know, if they put down they want four bars, uh, then tell them, hey, buy one more and you get six free. So, um Anyway, there's a lot of advantages to you filling this out for them. And it also gives you one-on-one -on -one time to talk to them about why don't they host their own party. Now, here's where the dice come into play. I say, and I can do this during the party too. It doesn't matter. But I have them roll the dice. Okay, right here was a six. This, I rolled a six. I don't know if you can see that. So I have everybody go around the room and roll the dice, and you can do this during your party, and write their number at the top of their order form and circle it, but don't tell them what it's for. And then when they come up, say, oh, that number, you rolled a six. Well, that means you can get a night light, a $20 night, what, night light warmer for $6 tonight if you book a party and put it on in the books and I will uh, we will be sure and order that at your party and I will save that in my in my book when I'm putting in the information for her um, party and her information so the most you that would be four dollars out of my pocket because I'm gonna use a half price uh, perpetual reward uh, that was mine the most you're ever going to pay is if they roll snake eyes you're going to be paying half price of ten dollars, so be eight bucks that you would spend for somebody to have a party. So that is another great game to play. Both of those are fun. They're intriguing. They're uh, to get uh, part uh, bookings to keep your business going. So then, uh, basically, that is it for a party. And everybody has fun. It's interactive. Everybody gets to smell and sniff. And, and it's very laid back. It's not formal. You don't stand up and demo and, and all that stuff. But um, I'm going to get a 2017 fall-winter quiz 
ready and I will post that for you so that you can have that if you want to play at your parties. So anyway, I hope that helps you to let you know exactly um, what I do at my parties and make, make you feel maybe a little more comfortable doing yours. See you later.